Bonjour à vous, des policiers de terrain qui gagnent plus que leur supérieur hiérarchique. The lunchtime bulletin on Belgian TV in French. And at the same time on another channel, the news in Flemish. A mirror of the country's linguistic and cultural divide. But while the news agenda might be different, both newsrooms can be found in the same building in Brussels. Although for the staff, they might as well be hundreds of miles apart. So, as we walk along this line, we have the imaginary border with VRT, the Flemish public TV station, while on the other side we have RTBF, the public French language TV station. Between the two buildings there is a passage, a corridor. It's all that divides us, but it's also what unites us too. So close, but yet so far. Since the closure of the shared language news channel in 1977, the two newsrooms have had complete autonomy. They even have their own car park, cafeteria and studios. We have a Flemish culture, and what goes on in Wallonia is like it's in another country. But if there was a big explosion in Liège, We'd know about it via our colleagues at RTBF. We'd give them a call. They're our preferred colleagues, if you like, but no more than that. The loss of any shared programming, even of subtitling in each other's languages, has served only to increase the divide. Having a separation between the two has at times created a sort of cultural divide or if you like, the reinforcement of cultural identity among the French community and a different cultural identity from the Flemish community. Television being a microcosm for the country as a whole, where there has effectively been no government since June this year, as political parties attempt to cross the cultural and language divide and prevent the Belgian Federation from splitting apart indefinitely.